An eye disease that is robbing you of your sight. This happened to Jake Matheson when he was just 20 years old. But there's some new technology that gave Jake his sight back and renewed his hope to pursue his dream of teaching music. He's now the band director at Southwest Junior High and Columbus Elementary in Forest Lake. Jake Matheson and Dr. Ralph Chu from Chu Vision Institute join us now. Thank you guys for being here. We appreciate it. Thanks for having us. Jake, let's start with you. Tell us how the condition you have, what, are, what was it called? Uh, it's called keratoconus. And how did that affect you? What happened? Um, when I was 19, uh, it affected me to the point where I actually dropped out of school. Uh, my eyesight got bad enough that I, was, I couldn't really read books or mm -hmm. you know, textbooks. I couldn't drive. Um, and it was a quick progression that it just, my vision declined to the point where I was struggling to. And you went from full sight. Yeah, um, I, I didn't actually start wearing glasses at all until I was 16. Wow. Oh, that's mm. amazing. So, Dr. Chu, you actually had this procedure. You're one of few doctors across the country that will perform it. Can you tell us what it is and how that, that helped Jake? Yep. So, keratoconus is a progressive condition where the cornea loses its natural curvature. Mm -hmm. And so, it gets to the point where patients can't wear glasses or contacts and still see. Um, so Jake, before s the procedure, could only see 2080. Now he can see 2020 with his glasses. Amazing. So what the procedure does is we just put a drop of riboflavin on the eye and use an ultraviolet light to strengthen the corneal bonds. That's it? Yep. So it stops the progression of the disease. And then in some patients, like Jake, helps bring back the quality of their vision. Jake, this has been a life changer, I imagine? A complete life changer. Yeah. So At that point. Tell me, you're wearing glasses now, but you can see just yep. fine. Yep. That wow. is amazing. So this is, you're one of only a handful of doctors, like I mentioned, uh, approved to do this. Why is that the case? Is this e that extra training? What are those extra steps that you had to do? Well, what's been exciting is it's taken over 10 years to get this through the FDA clinical trial process. Wow. So just within the last month, this became available through the FDA approval process. So we'll be the first clinic uh, to offer this FDA approved process in the, in the state. Um, but it will be widely available throughout the United States now for patients like mm -hmm. Jake to help improve their vision. Is that pretty rare? I, I can't remember the exact name of it. Say it again. Yeah, so keratoconus, it affects about one in every 2,000 patients. So okay. that's about 170,000 patients in the U.S. But what this really means for patients, it's life-changing. You know, other, before this, patients like Jake needed a corneal transplant to get a cure. Now you can take a 12-year-old or a 13-year-old and stop their need for having a corneal transplant. It's a paradigm shift. Jake, tell us uh, about kind of the future for you that this has unlocked. You have a new job now? I have a, I have a brand new band directing job, which has been my, my kind of life dream. Um, and at the point when this disease started progressing, I didn't know if I could even do that. I couldn't read music. I couldn't mm. drive. I dropped out of school. You know, it's, it's been a complete, a complete change. Wow. Well, congratulations. It's got to, it must be fantastic for you and exciting opportunity for uh, many other patients out there who will get the chance to have a similar procedure. It's an exciting time. Jake, Dr. Chu, thanks so much for coming in. Thank you. Thanks for having us. We are heading up to the rooftop to check out a turkey.